This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost and some exclusive deals over at btech.com. Hey guys, welcome to BTech Basel here with the Sony Xperia Z2. Anyone who's got a Sony Xperia Z2 will know this is what it kind of looks like when it comes out of the box. Sure, we've populated one of our home screens with some folders, but generally speaking, that's what you can expect. You've got Sony's launcher with Android 4.4 underneath. If you don't know what a launcher is, well, that's a skin that's laid over Android to give it the look and feel that the manufacturer or the software developer wants it to have. If we pull in closer to frame, we can see this includes a revised notifications tray and quick settings toggle in addition to a revised applications tray. Now we're quickly going to talk you through the UI before telling you a little bit about customizing it and installing third party launchers. So the user interface has a variable number of home screens. We can control these by pinching out. We can see we can add a home screen or we can get rid of a home screen by pressing the X button in the top right hand corner right there. So now we're back down to two home screens. If we jump to the home screen to the left, we can add it again, and we can see below we've got options to add widgets, applications, change wallpapers, and swap out our themes right there. So if we were to tap widgets, we can see all our widgets here. Widgets, by the way, are interactive elements on your home screen. So if we've got the calendar widget, for example, we can scroll through it, whereas an application acts as just a shortcut right here, and the folder acts as a conglomerate of applications. So the clock, for example, is a widget because it's changing. If we were to get rid of that calendar, for example, by dragging it down into the trash can, we can pinch out again. See, here's where we can add applications and indeed shortcuts to activities and various um, tools within actual applications themselves. Jumping out of that, we can also see wallpapers. Here's where we can swap out our wallpaper. Now you can see we've got a live wallpaper here. A live wallpaper is a wallpaper that changes when you swipe through it, for example. If we were to long press and go to themes, we can swap out to a different theme as well. Now different themes are pre-installed, but you can also download more from the Google Play Store or Sony Select Store in this case. You can see TriFlat, for example, is an optional theme here. So that's gonna redirect us to the Google Play Store and then we can install it and accept. And while that's downloading, what we'll do is we'll swap out a different theme. We'll swap out Earth, for example. Now, you can see with Earth, it's not a live wallpaper, it is a static wallpaper. And we can pinch out finally and install TriFlat, the theme or, that we just installed on here. And you can see you've completely changed the look and feel of your phone. So Sony gives you something that's really, really nice and customizable. In effect, their user interface. But at the same time, it's pretty stable and it's quick. It's well optimized and it doesn't tend to slow down after using this phone for a while. You can see how many applications we have installed on here. Now that we've got that basic set of instructions covered as to customizing your home screen, we can jump into the settings. Why? Because you've got a home option under device there and you can see you've got a range of home screen launches here. Now the two default ones that come with your phone are Xperia Home and Simple Home. Quickly touching on Simple Home, if we take a look around we can see we've got some key shortcuts, some key folders and when we jump into the folders you've got some very easy to read text and iconography that is very very clear. What's so great about this is it's well optimized for people who are maybe visually impaired or just aren't so used to smartphones. You can access all your applications but they're accessible in a much much easier to plow it through list if again you're visually impaired for example. You can customize your elements uh, as well by tapping my selector and then you can edit and you can select which apps will be um, shortcutted through to the My Selection. If we jump out of that though, by pulling down our applications tray, jumping in settings, we can also see in our home option, if we did want a different launcher that's completely different from any of the others, we can tap, for example, on Smart Launcher. And you can see this has completely changed the entire look and feel of our phone. If we swipe to the left, we've got some key categories for applications, for example. And if we swipe back to the right, we just have our shortcuts that are regularly used. If we long press, we can add one of these shortcuts. We can control the lock screen or indeed control the wallpaper. If we swipe to the right, we have an option to throw a widgets panel on there as well. Swipe down, we can access our applications tray and customize gestures quite heavily. 
Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you've got an Xperia Z2 with any luck, it's pumped a little bit of fresh blood into your experiences with it. If you've also got any questions about any of the processes mentioned in this video, got any questions about the Z2 in general, fire them in the comments section below. And like we said, stay tuned to the YouTube channel for the upcoming video on third party launches. Thanks for watching.